Mike, I'm excited to be out here for Friday Night Lights. I actually brought, let me show you, my own helmet here. I'm a couple burritos short of being a defensive lineman like I used to be in high school, but put me in, coach. I can contribute if you need me. If uh, anybody has something, I can pump this ball up and bring it into the game. I'm ready to hit somebody. I am super excited. Oh, in the red zone, and it's a bird. It's a play. No, it's Carter Abel with the bunny. So nice. We got to show it twice. And how about them dubs? The Golden State Warriors are back in the NBA Finals for the sixth time in eight seasons. Don't call it a comeback because they've been here for years. Look at Draymond Shimian. And for the Avs, this is their third franchise title, their first since 2001. Remember those days? Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Chris Drury. I'm getting nostalgic just thinking about it. Foothill punched back, though. He falls down, but he gets up. That's Caden Williford with the bounce to scamper into the end zone. That would make it 14 to seven Foothill. Las Plumas would punt on their next possession and on the return, that's number 17 wide receiver Jahari Johnson moving like Keyshawn Johnson out there. He takes the return all the way to the house. In Reading, I'm Anwar Stetson for the North States News. For now, I'm Anwar Stetson reporting the North States News. I'm Anwar Stetson for the North States News. I hesitate to make any analogies to war when it comes to something as relatively simple as a football game. But under the shining banner of the flag, rain, mud, and muck that became Orland High School's football field Saturday night, a team of young men entered a war zone as an army of Trojans. A football state championship was on the line, but it looked more like an ugly rugby match set to the backdrop of all quiet on the Western Front. Orland senior quarterback Grant Foster was the tank that broke the stalemate of the trenches. Shafter High School's biggest and strongest defenders were no more than mere obstacles on his way to victory. Trailing 7-0 in the second quarter, Foster broke off this 65-yard rushing touchdown, feeding the Trojan crowd with enough hometown energy to break the spirits of the visiting Shafter Generals. <laughs> Head coach Nick Velasquez was worried about Shafter's passing game, which he said looked incredible on film. But don't worry, Grant Foster had an answer for that too. He took this 55-yard interception all the way home in a second half dominated by Orland, who won 20-7. For the first time since 1961, Orland finishes undefeated, and for the first time ever, the school is 15-0, winning its first ever state championship. This small Aggie town in Glen County is etched in stone forever. For us, we talked about that, uh, you know, having a legacy that will last forever. It's just incredible, man, 15-0. and 0. I mean, we, we dreamt of this, and, and to live out a dream, like I tell the kids, it's unbelievable, man. In Orland, I'm Anwar Stetson for the North States News. fifth annual Lions All-Star Game, a family-friendly exhibition with the best kids in the North State suiting up one last time. No championships at stake, middle of the summer, it won't be that competitive, right? Oh. So definitely Chippy of the South playing a little dirty, but you know, nothing we weren't expecting from them. Them's fighting words, and the teams fought all night. Holes are there. I just got to hit them a little quicker. And know you that the outside's open. The name of the game was ground and pound, with very little passing and a whole lot of rushing speed. The South controlled most of the game with this first quarter touchdown by Ian Guanzon from Chico's Pleasant Valley High School and this 84-yard bullet to the end zone by the game's MVP, Joaquin Porcayo. Well, we prepared all week, you know, three, three practices a day in the heat in Chico. Um, it was really a grind. But it was worth it, you know, as you can see, MVP trophy and the dub. Um, I love all these guys and just had a great time. And it was great to ball on my high school football one last time. Despite a valiant comeback effort, including this incredible Carter Abel grab in the fourth, the South squad was victorious, 21 to 10. It was the final game for legendary Paradise High coach Rick Prince, who walks into the sunset with a victory. So much fun. I mean, the second half went so fast. I didn't even know what was going on. And then the game was running out there and unbelievable. Just uh, so much fun right now. I just say thank you to Paradise for the opportunity 
to let me coach there and to be a part of that, and I'm still going to be a part, and I'll see you out there on Friday nights. In Reading, I'm Anwar Stetson for the North States News.